my fave, I, I love everything, but my absolute favorite thing that I'll be talking about tonight is this blush pink quilt from, Haw again, Hawkins, New York, telling you guys I love this brand. Love them. This is what they call a simple linen quilt. I guess I should show you guys what it is. So you can see the thickness of it. And this is, so it's it's thin, and it's, what, it's a year-round quilt. But this keeps me warm enough in the winter, and I would imagine would keep me cool enough in the summer because it's just a good blanket. It looks gorgeous over my bed. My husband hates it because it's pink. I'll fix my thing really quick. My husband hates it because it's pink, but I absolutely love it. So this is a hundred percent Belgian linen with polyfill. So this is finished. It's Belgian linen finished and woven and stonewashed in Portugal. And it's just, be I just, I love the color. It's not obnoxiously pink. It's just a really pretty blush pink. And I wish I could show you like it over my bed because it's gorgeous. It goes so well with our gray walls and it, it is, it's super soft. It's almost like, you know, those quilts that your grandmother had, you know, how thin and how soft they are. It's like, it's already been, you know, used for years. It's that soft, super comfortable. And it's got squares, it's square stitched. But I love this. I love the fact that it's year round. I love that. I just, I love the look of it. I like farmhouse and antique -y type things. And this is just perfect for me. I love quilts. Do any of you have any quilts that this is um, king? This is king size, but they do have it in queen. And this is normally $450. And I almost died. <laughs> saw the price tag trust me but this is something that's gonna last forever and to be completely honest this is the nicest blanket spread quilt whatever that I've ever had on my bed I am absolutely in love with it and I just I love the fact that it it already feels broken in I just I have I have other quilts too that were handed down um, I have a quilt that's made out of a family member's clothing as well, but for this, yeah, exactly. For this to be a king size quilt with Belgian linen, I don't know, I don't know much about Belgian linen, but I do know that this is one of the softest quilts that I've, I've ever used in my life. I would love to, um, have a gray one as well. So maybe my husband wouldn't gripe so much. <laughs> king size bedding is expensive. But for it to normally be $450 and you get it for $306, I think it's a pretty good deal for sure. But overall, Hawkins, New York, I'm obsessed. Just flat out obsessed. So how do you guys decorate your house? Like what style do you have your house decorated in? I would love to know. I feel like I have to say something. <laughs> it depends on the room. I've, I've always kind of been like that as well. Like my daughter's room is very pink and whimsically. And um, it's got classic rock uh, quotes on pictures on her walls. You know, just very boho kind of. I like rustic. I do like modern um, as well. But my soul just kind of vibes more with um, older type things. Fairy core. You are going to have to send me a picture if you don't mind. Um, I would love to see that. I'm seeing, <laughs> I would love to see that. See what exactly what that means. Your own drawing craft books all over. Yeah. My daughter is three and she's just now getting into the artist stage. So we have quite a bit of this <laughs> around everywhere too. But so I was saying that um, we are slowly but surely redecorating our house right now. And 
here very soon. The, this, these will be gone. The puke pea green walls will be gone. <laughs> I hate these walls so bad. Um, it's, we're going to do like a neutral wall in here and everything is going to be kind of muted. And I'm going to have, um, a lot of antiques, like vintage kitchenware, things like that. Um, and I, I just think it's going to look really awesome. And that is why I wanted to do, I wanted to get more like muted type items for my kitchen. My office is girly and feminine with makeup and skincare. My bathroom looks like a skincare store exploded all over it. It's so bad. All grayscale. Is that because of Josh? <laughs> I figured, I figured. Um, so I would love for you guys to tell me out of the three items that I showed you, which one's your favorite? Cause I have a hard time choosing, but mine would, I think would have to be this gorgeous quilt. And if you want to see a better picture of it, I do have, I do have a, um, post on my profile that you can see. I probably honestly should have just laid it out over my bed and carried you guys with me so you could see it. It's, it really is just so pretty. I, I to be honest, I'm kind of torn. I'm kind of torn between them all. This is the first time that like I've fallen in love with uh, home products in a very long time. So no, I didn't. I didn't clean up my house good enough to take you with me to my bedroom. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next time, though. <laughs> I do think that here soon I will be posting um, next time I cook. I'll plate something really nice and put it on my profile so you guys can see because I don't know what I still have up. Hold on. Let's see. I'm so glad I'm getting the hang of this. Okay. Um, I actually plate some plate some really nice food like a rack of lamb or something if I cook that in the near future um, which is something that is my goal to learn how to cook correctly by the way um, I will put it on these plates so you guys can see I just I love the simplicity of them and I just I love the design how they're kind of I don't know if you can see it but you see how they kind of are rippled I just I love them Am I training for MasterChef? No, but um, I would like for my skills to be so that I could do that if I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, it does add some some really nice texture. Well, I really appreciate you guys um, sticking with me through my first live. Uh, this was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, and I really appreciate you all. Um, and like I said, if you're interested in the dinner plates... Um, they are on my post. Um, you can see, actually, I don't know if I made a post about these, but I do have a list on my profile for my recommendations. You can find them there and um, make sure to grab them when they come back in stock and definitely check out other products by Hawkins, New York and Casafina, both two really, really great brands. And this was fun. You guys, thank you so much. This, this was great. Thank you. All right. I will see you guys in my next live.